I'll go ahead and start with the Fire HD. This is the small one. It's only seven inch screen. It's very small. And it's also pretty lightweight. It weighs less than one pound. It's at 12 ounces. Uh, but this one features a 1200 by 800 screen resolution mm -hmm. size. So it's a little bit on the low side, but that's also because it's it's cheap. the cheapest one on the market. <laughs> it's really cheap. So the one that I have here is the one that has special offers. And to give you an idea of what the offers look like, it basically just shows up on the lock screen. That's about it. You don't see them anywhere else? No, I oh, haven't. that's not bad. So it doesn't show up on your home screen. And right. when you're going through here, obviously, when you're going to shop, you're going to see, you know, ads for different applications and whatnot. But that's that's really about it. Uh, this one starts at 139 Then the price goes up from there. That one is the special offer version. And I believe the one that does not have special offers is 169 I think it's 20 bucks more, yeah. Something uh, like that, 30, 20 or 30 bucks more. Yeah. It never, you know, I, I had the paperweight with the uh, special offers. It never bothered 169, me. 169, yeah. 160, 30 bucks yeah, more. Yeah, so it's not that bad. So um, this one is pretty speedy with the processor. It's 1.5 gigahertz processor. You can get a couple of different options as far as memory goes. You can get 8 gigs or 16 gigs. Battery life is pretty good, 10 hours of battery life, and that's with a pretty active day, too. You can use it for playing video games and whatnot. Uh, the speakers are found on the back side of this. You also notice there is no camera on the front side. There's the power button right here, and then the volume button and the two speakers are on the bottom corners. And then the only other things you have are a mic jack and charger, and it's a regular US, micro USB charger. So I found that these two buttons are kind of odd, and this is the same with all three of them, the fact that it's on the back instead of on the side. So it took me a moment to figure that out. I couldn't even find it at first. Yeah, I, I turned yeah. it around, and I was like, oh. I know there's an on switch here somewhere. There's got to be an on switch somewhere. <laughs> so um, also, there is no camera on this version of it. On the back or on the front at all or yeah, anything? Yeah, there is no camera, no camera. whatsoever, okay. and there's also no additional memory slot. So you're that stuck with sense. either 8 or 16 you gigs. Know, for 139 bucks. 16 gigs. Uh, that's, that's the one impressive. that I would probably choose, so it's a little bit more expensive, but right. 16 is pretty good. Um, so my pros on this guy, I think that it's a really excellent price. However, there are a couple of cons. There's no May Day, and I'll get into May Day in a bit. The screen is just okay with 1280 by 800 resolution, and th there's no camera. Um, I found that the the volume, as far as the speakers go, is really nice. Watching videos on here is just fine. Um, it actually looks pretty good whenever you're playing videos on here. And you also get the nice little intuitive IMDB feature over here that Amazon has included. That's pretty fun. And then you get some of the applications, but it's running on their Fire, Fire OS. So you're not going to get everything that you get in Google Play, which is unfortunate. So this one I had to give a try to. So it's pretty good. Well, it looks good, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, it, but of course, this is the lower end it's model. The, it's the least expensive. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next one. And this one is going to be the Fire HDX. And I have this one set up. Let me go ahead and power it on This for is the 7-inch version. Yes. So this Fire. is the 7-inch version of the HDX. Both of the HDX, the little brother and the bigger brother, this one that I have over here, they're both pretty similar as far as specs go like the insides this one has a 2.2 gigahertz quad core snapdragon cpu so it's a little bit better than its little brother you can get 16 32 or 64 gig options yeah great photo isn't it it's amazing so it obviously has a camera <laughs> You can do 11 hours of battery and a little bit more than that if you're just using this as an e-reader. And it also has the two dual speakers on the back. The camera on here, of course, it does come with a camera. It's a front-facing HD camera. And there are also no ex extra memory slots. So again, you're stuck with those different memory um, choices that you have on their website. So the resolution on this one is a little bit higher. It's 1920 by 1200, a lot better. Uh, the weight of it is 10.7 ounces. So surprisingly, this one weighs less than its little brother at 12 ounces. Mm. So you get a couple of ounces less, which mm. I, I personally really liked. And if I turn it around, you'll see that the speakers are located at the top this time instead of down at the bottom like its little brother. But no camera, of course. So oh. if I turn this around again... I'll show you what the camera looks like. It's pretty decent. I took a whole bunch of selfies. I know I look ridiculous. <laughs> and I made a couple of videos. So it has pretty good video. It's it's that 720p front facing HD camera. So it's not too bad. And videos look great on here. I think they look 
quite a bit better. You can definitely see a big difference in the resolution. It's when 1080p. You have them next I mean, to this each is other. a full, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Full HD. It's very, very pretty. The speakers on here are really good quality with that Dolby 5.1. If I hold it up to the speaker, to the microphone, it's very clear. That's surprisingly loud. Sounds good. Yeah. And it gets loud. Yeah, it gets yeah. really, really loud. So I like the speakers a lot on this guy. So, um, I'll just go ahead and get straight into my pros and cons on this one. This one starts at $229, so pretty good price on it. And the sound quality is excellent. The screen is really great. It's also very fast and very responsive. Though the cons on this one, it's only one camera. And I, I really don't like the fact that they have the Fire OS, uh, the 3.0 version it's of this. It's Android, but Google you would Play. never know. Right. Right. It's, exactly. it's an Amazon UI. Yes, exactly. This is Mojito. So, I think it's really fun for anybody who's in Amazon Prime and they're they're buying things from Amazon all the time and they're really into watching videos and using it for TV shows and stuff like that. Buying e ebooks on there and audiobooks on Audible, things like that. If so, you're in the Amazon ecosystem, handy. it's made for you. I, yes. I fired mine up. Of course, when you buy it from Amazon, it says, oh, it, it already knows. It's Leo's Kindle. It's already yeah, logged it in. So it has my no audio setup. books from audible.com. They're not downloaded, so cool. but they're all visible. All the music at Amazon Music. So yeah. I live in the Amazon ecosystem, so it makes sense me for too. me. The Amazon streaming, all my movies, mm -hmm. all my TV shows are already yep. there. I'm the so same way. It's not You're not going to write a, a paper on this thing. No, you it's, won't. But, but it's great for content consumption. It's, it's very good yeah. for content consumption. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say, like, hey, do your homework on this device. Because, right. you know, at that point, it's. I would say go with a laptop, definitely. Not a tablet for that specific reason. Right. So I'll go ahead and turn this one on for you. This is the my favorite one. Also, that one was a buy. This is the one way. I bought. So this is the Kindle Fire 8.9 inch. It's the biggest brother of them all. This one starts at 379, so it's definitely a little bit more expensive, and that's on the lower end. It also offers both uh, Wi-Fi and LTE, which is great. So it costs a little bit more. I think it goes all the way up to 579 total for the different versions that you can get. But there's plenty of different versions available. Uh, you can get 16, 32, and 64 gig options. You can get seven hours of battery life on this guy and 17 hours if you're actually just using it as an ebook. Wow. Super that's pretty fun. good. Yeah. yeah. There we go. It keeps on turning off on me. So uh, I, still I put have tapped the out on it too. One. Yeah, I, I started playing that game and it's all your fault. Don't, don't, stop. <laughs> this game is so much fun. Silk really is Amazon's like browser. It's supposedly a sped up. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's um, decent. It's usable. This is available on all three of them. It's, it's pretty decent. Of course, it depends on how fast your wireless is wherever you are. But I was able to go up here and I was able to browse YouTube and pick up some videos. Reminds me a little bit of videos Internet Explorer, uh, the Metro version. It has that kind of feel yeah, to it. Yeah, it, it feels the touch really focused. funny. Yeah. It's yeah. obviously kind of it's kind of a baby operating right. system right. and silk browser. Yeah. Right. It's it just doesn't look all that great. So but it's good for browsing if you just need to like, you know, go to a website real quick or whatever. So I was playing with that a little bit. It's this one is a little bit more heavy. It's thirteen point two ounces, but it still weighs less than an iPad Air. Yeah, and enough. according to uh DisplayMate has a much better screen. Yes. Than the iPad oh, Air in terms beautiful. of color reproduction. I could notice the difference. I feel like yeah. I, maybe I knew ahead of time, but I feel it's like I can notice the difference. It really is a gorgeous screen. Very it's high resolution. 2516 by 1600. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. And it's still got that 2.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 800. It'd be great for watching movies in oh, bed yeah. Two or gigs on an airplane. Of RAM on here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. It still has the same speakers on the back of it. It also has a 720p front cam and an 8 megapixel rear with a flash as well. But again, no additional memory slots on this one either. So the back of this looks just like its little brother with the speakers at the top. Right. This time you have the camera over here. And the weird on-off switch on the back. Weird on-off yeah. switch. So I noticed with this one, the sound was a little bit muffled whenever I was trying to listen to music. Uh, if I play one of these songs that I had. Downloaded. Yeah, but it's, you know, it was fine for an audiobook. Not as loud as I would like, perhaps, but... Uh, yeah, not as loud, so... It's not it bad sounds, sound, though. The bass sounds a little bit muffled. Yeah, it's like... But otherwise, audiobooks are really nice. Yeah. I love listening yeah. to audiobooks on here, and listening to movies was perfect. I had so much fun listening to movies on here. Like, that's what I was doing. Did today. you try the Mayday thing? You know, they're I advertising did. that where you I press did. a button. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Can we make a, can we make a is, Mayday call? It is the funniest thing ever. So you click on the question mark, and it says, help, I need help. This and is calling a live, a live representative. So, oh, what should I ask them? Um, 
Because they actually come on screen and they say, well. <laughs> no, ask them how uh, to, how, how to, can I listen to, I don't know, what? How can I say, ask them if you have. I'll ask them how to set up a lock on my. There you go. My can I lock this I mean, so that nobody easy, else can see it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing about most of this stuff is it's pretty easy to do. I accidentally exited out of there. Okay, so is it's it going to take about 15 seconds to Somebody connect. actually shows up. Yeah, and then they, they will show up down here. Mayday. Yeah, they're going to wonder. They're going to say, what are you doing? Hi, Paige. My name is Shannon. I was hoping that you could help me find the, uh, the passcode lock that I could use on my lock screen. No, I don't know how to set it up. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Um, oh, I see it. Okay. Do you see it? At the second of the... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And then you see where it says lock screen password? Yes, I see that. Okay, so if you turn that on, it'll prompt you to enter a password and just save it. Oh, cool. Okay. That's perfect. That's all I needed to know. All right, great. Well, um, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your device. Thanks, Thank Paige. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Wow, that was really great. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now she it didn't the draw on the screen thing. and do it for you. No, well, apparently they, have that they, capability. they can connect to yeah. your screen if you ask them to. Okay. Um, like, show me. I, think I you can't have figure to give it out. Them permission. You know, my mom would love this. Yeah. She'd probably call every it's day great. just to talk to somebody. Like that was a stupid, easy problem to solve. But if if you seriously couldn't find something, or maybe something was broken, or you had an error downloading something, they could help you with that. You know what I liked it's about really it? Really funny. She knew. Yeah. And she didn't she went she actually didn't have to refer to a script or anything. She no, actually she was didn't. obviously very comfortable with They're how it worked. And she knew, oh yeah, yes. you go down here you, it's like how a real person would you be. You get a different person every time too. I have tried it three times already. Uh, <laughs> I've asked him the same question every time, but <laughs> that I you know what? I was a little skeptical about the Mayday thing. I could see especially for somebody who's unsure about their first computing yeah. device. What a Boom, yeah. this is. That's it obviously great. doesn't look as good on their webcam as it does in their commercials, but that's I mean, fine. that's kind of a given. It still done. looks really nice. It's very clear, and there's no stuttering whenever they get on the webcam with you. Now, I notice you have a strange case. You want to tell us a little bit about I the do. origami? You got so, this is one that Amazon sells with it. These do. I don't have the specs on this written down for me, but these are the origami cool. cases. Yeah. And you can purchase these as accessories via a Amazon.com. So I had three different versions available. There's a gray one, a pink one, and a black one. And they have them all specifically for the different kinds of tablets. So of course, you can use this to set up, set it up on different ways. Um, I like this one specifically because I was able to set it both sideways and regular tablet mode. It was kind of neat. Cool. Yeah, it was cute. So it's a neat little origami case. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the pros and cons on this one because I know we have plenty of stuff to go over this today in this episode. So this one was $379 starting off with. My pros on it, it's very fast, very responsive. It's got a really nice screen, and Mayday is hilariously awesome. <laughs> My cons, the music with bass sounds a little bit mus muffled, and of course, Fire OS is built on top of Android Jelly Beans, so you don't have the full Google, Google Play Store. But overall, um, the two Fire HDXs, I have to get both of those buys because they're really nice tablets. They're very impressive. Very nice. Yeah. Very I have nice. so much fun with Mayday. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've I'm I've only had it mine for a, a day, an evening, really, because I haven't played it with the last night. I was pretty impressed by it. That's a nice, totally do it. <laughs> nice tablet, yeah. Yeah.